Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's tutorial is another kid-friendly project and it involves hearts again because those were some of the more recent projects I did with the kids from my class. Today we are making chalk paint hearts. Um, I really wanted to do this tutorial with acrylic paint, but I don't know where my acrylic paints are. They're somewhere in my storage unit. I wanted to use acrylic paints because I used uh, like a tempera washable paint with the kids and that seemed to work really well. Um, but since I couldn't find those, I recalled seeing something about chalk paint on Pinterest a while back and I was like, oh, I have chalk. Um, I will make chalk paint. So this tutorial is actually going to be like a triple feature this time. I uh, videotaped making chalk paint and then um, I did a couple of uh, hearts. Well, I'm not going to keep you waiting as long as in the last video, so let's get going. The supplies you will need for this tutorial are a few pieces of colored chalk, a foam brush, a paintbrush, or a sponge, last week's heart stencil or a shape stencil of your choice, paper of your choice, and water. I used a hammer to gently crush the chalk pieces um, in between wax paper and put each color in an individual tray spot. I decided to try the cornstarch and water method just in case I needed to add food coloring to make my chalk colors brighter, but that obviously wasn't necessary as the colors I chose were very, very pigmented. Outside of recording, I tried using just water with the powdered chalk and that worked perfectly fine. It's not necessary to use cornstarch. This project is great for a rainy day and it is super easy to clean up. Chalk is very washable. If you decide to use the uh, food coloring recipe, just be really careful, food coloring does stain. I made my chalk paste into two different consistencies. One is more watered down, uh, so it was easier to use the paintbrush, and the other is thicker, so it's more textured. The paper I decided to use for this project was some old school Milky Gear black paper. Line your stencil with double sided tape and place it on top of your paper. Since I had done this project a few times already, I thought it would be more fun to try it blindfolded. Now it's time to paint. I did cheat a couple of times just to make sure that I was getting the chalk paint in the open heart area and not like everywhere else. Uh, but for the most part, I was blind throughout this first heart and I think it turned out pretty good. This second heart has a lot more going on since I was able to see what I was doing and I experimented as I went along trying different things. The thicker you lay on the chalk paint, the more easily it will crumble off the paper after it's dried. My main recording equipment stopped recording just before the reveal of the second heart and it was too late for pictures because after it dried, I tested it to see how crumbly it would be. 
and it doesn't look the same now. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you did, like and subscribe below, and I'll be posting more soon. See ya!